<laughs> Welcome. Did you, did you hear that clapping? That was, that was some was, professional clapping. Yeah. Wow. Exuberance. <laughs> Exuberance. I asked clap. for trumpeters, but I guess we didn't we didn't get trumpeters. All right. Now to get to the list. We did pretty good, I think. I think it was great. Um we don't I think we shouldn't spoil a alert. No. We're gonna have a special guest. Special guest? Yeah, special guest today. You know what's really really kinda cool though? What? We have internet. <laughs> we have internet right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's so really cool booted is off of it. we are actually on right now. We're People on. People can see us. Sometimes we are naughty children and we get booted from the internet. <laughs> well, before even last week when Caleb and I tried to go on. Oh yeah, that's right. We'd like to say Scott appreciates this. Thespis decided to sit in on our <laughs> on our uh, show and basically made everything go wrong and booted us off the air. Yeah, yeah. I so. I didn't want to comment on it. I think it was like an act of rebellion because I wasn't here. It, that might be. Yeah. Again, it, it was a wholly different show we're trying to do. We were just trying to like have a little fun, tell everyone about all the movies that were opening. Yep. But no. But no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no fun was had. No, well, thank welcome you. Welcome to the cult show. It's well, where no fun will be had today either. No, 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 no. But it is Friday night, which means it is the cult show. And we are together with our studio audience and our friends uh, in the basement of the Roxy 14. It's hot today. We're yeah. back to our sweaty season. Uh, we're in our sweaty era. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just not ready for it, but no. I ain't got a choice. <laughs> Gets us closer to Halloween. That's true. That is true. Uh, it's halfway to Halloween in just, what, a week or so? Week and a half? Yeah. It's coming up. So that's like a big holiday for us. It's a big deal. Yeah. So we're halfway there. Okay. Living on a prayer. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. All right. <laughs> uh, I don't need that. That's not mine. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I guess we... Uh, is it a chat night? Do we say it was a chat night or do we uh, wait we'll till later? We'll wrap it up because you know what? I think we're going to find a lot of people popping in because they're going to want to talk to our special guest. Mm. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. In that case, we're going to raise our glasses to everyone and say happy Friday. Happy yeah. Friday. Thank happy you, almost halfway <laughs> to Halloween. <laughs> Is this thing on? Is this thing on? That was the creepiest little voice that we were not expecting to Whoa. happen. Um, so one thing we have to talk about is new Coke again. There's a new Coke again. We always like to drink these on. You guys know we try this on air. So this is the we have the Coke Zero version of Move. 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 God Get damn it. Way. <laughs> Coke. Here I'm gonna put some. That's an aggressive Coke. They've, Into a little cup. They take it. <laughs> Oh my god, it's like, Good it's luck, like Scott. communion. Would anybody like to take communion with us? Um, yeah, if you do. Yeah. Oh, we got some. You take one down, you pass take it one around. Take one down, pass it around. 99 Sacrament bottles of sac a sacrament That's on the wall. That's for you, fine sir. Sacrament sacrilege. That's for the other fine sir. Michael, you want some? No, thank you. It's sugar okay. free, Michael. Sugar free. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Uh, uh, Scott. He only does Peeps Pepsi. He only does Peeps Pepsi. Okay, more for us. Oh, should pour some for special guests? Oh, special guests. Pour one out for special guests when they, when they arrive. If we have one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So move Coke. Move Coke. Move. Cheers. Give it a shot. Cheers. Second cheers. Ding, cheers. Ding, ding, ding. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's good. What is that? It tastes like marshmallowy. It's like strawberry marshmallow. Yeah. Strawberry marshmallowy. Anybody? What do you guys think? What do you no. taste? Don't like it. Vanilla? Don't like it. Yeah. Vanilla. There's some vanilla in there. Vanilla. It's very vanilla. -ish. But then there's um. Uh, but there's like a. There's a fruit. There's a fruit. There's a fruit. A berry fruit. Yeah. It's not peach this time, thank God, though. Right. I'm thinking it's like strawberry vanilla. Yeah. Yeah. It's very gentle on the palate. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I I don't hate it. I think I like it. I still think that space flavor was the best one so space, far. Space space face flavor. <laughs> Speaking of which, space space birthday. It is space face. Happy birthday, birthday, space Happy face. birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's also um. Uh, P. A. Haley Haley's PA, birthday. Yeah. So happy birthday. Absolutely. It's Haley the P. A. Um, really quick that we should share things with the people. All share right. a few things. Okay. Share a few things. Um, no. Oh. Oh wait. Did There's a knock at the door. Is it time for special special guest? <laughs> Who is special it? Special guest. Are you there? Who is? It? Come on in already. Oh, it's haunted. Jeez. I think we have a haunting. Hey! Hey! Jackie, oh my God! Get in here! Jack, whoa! Jackie! Yay! Jackie Kong! I've arrived! You here? Arrived. Come you on here. down! Thank Join you. us, Jackie Kong! Oh my Kong. God! What? This was hard to find in the basement of the <laughs> movie theater. 
Fancy uh, finding you here. Stumbling around in the projectionist area, which is very spooky, actually. Ooh. Yeah. That's because you didn't so, come down to the basement where we Yeah, are. I was I was wandering around yeah. the theater. But I found the basement. And, I love it. Oh, it like the ghost of the... Of the Roxy Theater. Oh, like the Phantom. The Phantom <laughs> of the... The Phantom the of theaters. the Uproar. Yes. That's Jackie. All Welcome, right. Jackie. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming back. Uh, so guess course. what? We got some water here for you. We have some you. Um, here's some Coke. Try this Coke real quick. Oh, uh, okay. It's sugar-free. This is... Uh, yeah. Okay. Tell what us do you what think? you think. Tell, Tell us what, what you... notes you pick up. Yeah, where are the flavors in that Coke? Ugh. <laughs> Jackie doesn't oh like it. God. Jackie doesn't... <laughs> that is terrible. Jackie says no. Okay. That's out. That's out. We got an RC oh, girl sitting yeah, here. No, no, that, I don't know Coca what artificial moved. sweetener they not put Jackie in that. Not approved. <laughs> but it, okay. She's not moved. It's got a bad av- aftertaste. No, we don't want you to have that. All right. So, Sandra, what um, what did you want to cover tonight? I want to talk about Jackie Cole mostly. Okay. I want to talk about spend the night. Okay. I want to talk about the being. I want to talk about blood diner. I want to talk about what's new next. Okay. What's happening. That's we only have an hour and a half. That's well, a lot. That's a lot to cover, and yeah. we're gonna play a game. And oh, a game. Okay. We're sub- I'm ready. Poor Jackie has to play one of our sadistic. <laughs> as long as I don't have to have any of that hot sauce over there, I see oh, hot sauce. You have options <laughs> for your punishment. It, it won't. It won't be pretty if I have hot. And it's sauce. called calm or consequences. <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's the game we're playing. Calm or consequences. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you know, something we like to do is we like to kick off the show and we talk about what we've been watching, what we've been enjoying. Mm. I think we should start with you. Do you have any, like, cool little things, books or movies or TV shows? Well, I've been working so hard on this comic book, Spend the Night, I don't have time to go out. I mean, the artists that I'm working with are all over the world, and it's uh, nonstop until I get it perfect. So issue one came out, sold out. Through lunar distribution and now we're on issue two um, and so if you missed out definitely try to see if you can get it at your local comic book store we were at op comics today nice. so i think they have some over there cool and um and in fact i know they do so if you get the signed copies that i left with lauren they're very valuable. So and I you would... know what that's always fun to go to a store and you're like oh i, I didn't get a signed copy and it's like we got you. She has yeah. a few that I that I left there. So yep. I love definitely it. Definitely run over and try to grab yourself one. And um, and then we're going to go into a second printing um, this summer, but which will make this first printing even more valuable. Excellent. Yes. So hang okay. on to it. Can we talk about something that I mentioned to you yesterday that I'm super stoked about? Your little author like picture uh, on the back. Yes, yes. I am obsessed. That. I don't I know am if you can obsessed. see it or not. But it's uh, done by Stephen Blickenstaff, a fantastic artist mm-hmm. who did the Cramps cover that you've seen, the very famous Cramps punk rock band of the guy with the pompadour, the skeletal guy with the teeth. I think mm-hmm. Lord has worn, worn the t-shirt on uh, Rolling Stone magazine. Super cool. And I, I asked him, please, do it. Do a portrait of me for this Kong Comics um, series mm-hmm. that we're doing, and he's a uh, he did an incredible job. Doesn't that look like me? It looks just like you. Take it's a super look. cute. I don't know if you can see that? Because but... like we were talking about last night, and I'm like, because it's cute, but you still look like a bad bitch. Yeah, I look yeah. like I'm gonna kick someone's yeah. ass, <laughs> and, uh, which is accurate. Yes, and yeah. and I look sexy all at the same time. <laughs> so, he was a, he's amazing. He was able to do this capture of the essence the of the whole me. Jackie. Yep. Yeah. That's the it. Of brand. Me. That's so, it. Yeah. Hold it up to the camera. Again. So you have not more seen time. that logo. See, get a little close up. Stephen Blickenstaff designed that for just for me. And thank you, Stephen. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, we have a couple of people in the chat who said they haven't got it yet, but they're looking forward to getting their hands on it. Oh, so. Yeah, you can if you can't find it. Uh, if you're not in the Santa Rosa area, which is where we're at now, uh, go online and see if you can uh, get, you can find some copies if you would Google Spend the Night comic book. Mm-hmm. And you'll see the autographed copies have sold out at $100. So if I were you, I would try to get over to OP at, or um, Golden Apple or um, Forbidden Planet. I think they have a few. Ooh. And Coast City Comics. Those are all my buds, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> so I was there doing signings, and uh, I know they have them. Okay. So a cool. few. So they've yes. been keeping you busy. 
Com- super comics busy. has been keeping you busy. Unfortunately, and fortunately, I can't complain. The the books are coming out, so the the next book really takes you into the characters, and uh, a lot of people. And it's even longer than the first. The first is twenty pages. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the next one is twenty four because I had nice. to get more of the character development in there, and you'll see the girls are just pretty cool. I love it. Give me give me more. Make it thirty five, forty five. Issues. 65 issues and pages. <laughs> well, I've already got 20 written. <gasps> yeah, so um, 20 are already written in script form. Then I need to break it down into layout form, and mm-hmm. then it goes to the... I think I, I gave you an example of how that works. It goes to the... the oh, yes, yeah, Scott, you artist. have that. If you hand one second, Scott yeah. can pull that up for us. Okay. Okay, so basically the way each page works, I break down a written script into a layout. Then the layout goes to, there it is right there. So you see it's very rudimentary yeah. drawings, but it breaks out what dialogue takes place and what action takes place in each frame. Okay. Then the next stage is to take it to the ink artist. There it is. Mm-hmm. And you see all the detail, but that's only after the layouts are completely approved. Once we approve every single, or I approve every single um, inking frame, then it goes to the colorist. There it is. Oh, pretty. So it's amazing. You see, the, it just, and then it goes through several stages of coloring until it's perfect. Then it goes to the letterer. Here it is. Oh, we don't have the oh, letter. That's right there. It oh, changed. there it is. Oh, okay, there it is. Yeah. So you see the dialogue. Many pages have much more dialogue, but this is a yeah. more of an action page. Mm-hmm. And then from that, it goes to the printer. So you can see it's pretty involved. That's why I yeah. haven't had time. To do much of anything oh, else, you're like working twenty four seven on call for this. Exactly, and yeah. my artists are like all over the world. So if I'm talking to the colorist in in Serbia or Paris, he's nine hours ahead. Yeah, and then um, and then back east is three hours ahead. So I'm, I'm yeah. constantly getting a flow of uh, artwork at different stages from the different. Uh, um, levels of the artwork, so so it's a bit of a mind thing. You really have to be like multitasking. You know, am I working on the lettering now? Or am I working yeah. on the cover page now? And so we had, but you know, it, these guys are amazing. Uh, I have a great team. That's so yeah. cool. Uh, shout out to all of our watchers in mm-hmm. other countries who are joining us for not only our faces but for Jackie Kong as well. Uh, yeah. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, I hope you'll get the the book. Tommy says beautiful artwork. It, Tommy is right. Thank you, Tommy. Um, the artwork is amazing. I have to say it's next level, yeah. as well as the the writing, um, which I did. <laughs> next level. All, it, yeah. it, it is, you know, Jackie Kong writing, right? It's like stuff you don't expect to have happen happens. Yes. Right. So it that, is so good. So that's important. And uh, and then the, the thing that this book, book has that's unique, and I like to share this with everyone, is that there are little QR codes hidden. I don't know if you can zoom in and see that throughout the book. And yeah, if, I don't think you'd be able to yeah, get that close. You, they're hidden. They're, Easter, they're, they're like yeah. Easter eggs. And you uh, scan those with your phone and you can listen to the music score. And no one has ever done that. I've talked to many of my friends in the comic book world and they said no one has ever done a soundtrack. And um, so you've got to find them. So you've yeah. got to be clever enough to find them in the book. They're hidden all over. Mm-hmm. And uh, play the score. And if you can't find them, I'll give you a little hint. <laughs> <laughs> There's a music guide at the back. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're going crazy and you can't find the Easter eggs, I have. Uh, you can you can you can go to the back There's page. There's a cheat sheet. Yeah. 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 The first time I read it, I actually missed one. I couldn't. Did you miss? So I had I had to go back through until I finally found it. Yeah, it's a yeah. it's a bit of an Easter egg hunt, and it's a lot of fun. Oh, and by the way, I don't know if you saw this, but on the very last page, there's this crazy credit back there. <laughs> what is what that? What is that? Who uh, is that? Neil <laughs> Pearl Leonard. What what is that? I don't know who Pippa that Bao, is. Neil did all of the videos for the Kickstarter campaign that raised the money to right. Get, so would you comment. say yeah. if you took me out of the equation, the Kickstarter would not have happened? You were an essential <laughs> part. Essential ingredient. Of the I essentially created campaign. this is what Jackie is saying. <laughs> so. Shoves Jackie over. I'm if Jackie. If you want to kiss my ring, you can oh, do right. so. Neil's head has gone. <laughs> you, really, you really created but, a monster. Uh, <laughs> and I would like to point out that I helped one day. That's right. Yeah. Caleb was... <laughs> Caleb was Someone the assistant. Is asking for you to be the producer of the show. Yes, that's correct. So uh, you know, twenty that's issues plan. are in the works right now. They're going out every quarter. Mm-hmm. So if I were you, uh, if you're a comic book um, fanatic, 
I would get the first first um, printing of every issue. Yes, get issue. the first one. Yeah, because if you get the first printer printing of every issue, you'll have the whole collection and the first printing, extremely valuable, happens once in a lifetime. Cool. And then you go to second printing and third printing and fourth printing. Yeah. But you know, Batman and those they're, they're into their like twentieth printing and right. know, it's a different yes. if you own the first printing of Batman or um, any of the uh, yes. And you know what we're gonna do right now? What? Jackie is gonna sign the back of this comic. Ooh, what? And then and then we are gonna use uh what do you call it? Offer it up in, in a contest. Right? Yes. I will sign it. There you go. Sign. So we're She's yes. signing it on air. Okay, so it's, it's, proof. it's blank here. Yeah. <laughs> it's blank. But blank. this is not Neil and I signing this. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to sign right here. Although, we'll all sign it if you want. <laughs> That's right. I mean, I should probably, They're, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like crosses well, out check. <laughs> he's going to cross me out. Try, yeah. to, try to take credit for this. But yes, a contest. And you, the audience, can win one. You can win it. We'll get back to you on what the contest details yeah, you are. Yeah, stay tuned. And uh, this is priceless. So if I were you... Definitely try to uh, get your hands on it. It Thank belongs you. in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> no, already. You, you know, you joke, Caleb, but seriously. I wasn't joking. <laughs> I, <laughs> I would never. Never. Joke, yes. but I would never. But literally, people have already started um, grading these. Oh, good. Yeah. So Ooh. that means they're encased in plastic and graded by, um, I think it's CB. What do you know the name of the grading company? CBD. CB. <laughs> the <laughs> CBD <laughs> grading <laughs> company. <laughs> no, there are only two uh, that are the top know. notch, and one of them uh, graded a, a batch for me oh, at nice. New York Comic Con. So. Oh. Cool. Excellent. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Can I ask mm -hmm. you some questions about the comic book? Sure. And the comic... So did you dream of making a comic book? Was that like one of your goals? Or... Don't, don't so... say it. <laughs> I can't say because that's one of the questions. That's coming oh. up in the how do you, if you, do you know Jackie Kong? Oh, I haven't game? seen the questions. So yeah, I didn't so, know that. And in that series of questions, I will ask, how did I come up with the idea to do a comic book? So it's up to, uh, okay. it's up to you, Caleb. Caleb. Caleb, do you have any idea? How you came up with the idea? Yeah. Neil probably gave it to no. you. <laughs> uh, you, have to, you have to Damn take it, a, you guessed you it. Take a spoonful of hot sauce. You're already going to start off the, con like the game like one spoon in. You guessed it already, Caleb. <laughs> so uh, that's a, one demerit. <laughs> <laughs> you're, already, you, you're already docked for a spoonful. Get ready. That's okay. <laughs> well, you don't know. You, I'll, I'll tell you later what you I've got it. as a punishment to you. I so. think you should do all of the above for your punishment, I think. That'd be okay. funny. So we're going to no. play the game later. Well, that's later, what yeah. What other questions, Sandra? You must have another. So talk to us about the music. How did the how did that come to be? Because that's, I mean, if you don't know Jackie Kong, she's been busting down doors for a long time, <laughs> um, in the boys' club mm -hmm. of horror and filmmaking and comedy and comedy, and now an innovative thing in comic books. Yes. yes. So how did that come about? And that's a boys' club as well. Very okay. few uh, yeah. female creators out there. Lame. And um, so I, of course, I took it as a challenge that I can master this storytelling and um, uh, genre. And um, I just got this idea that wouldn't it be better to tell this story where you can listen to the music that I have curated so that you can get into the entire immersion of the emotion of the comic book. And I've gotten a lot of really good feedback because people feel it takes it to another level. Um, yeah, it's of, immersive. Yeah, you just feel the emotion. You feel the, and it's got humor, my music picks. Um, what is that noise? <laughs> what is that? I think, I think someone... <laughs> it's got... <laughs> Scott is uh It's so spooky. Did we just talk over He's letting the people house? know. The basement is like haunted. It's very haunted. And you made it even more haunted. I think so. I think that uh, they Basically, followed me down here. We're, we're whoring ourselves out well, now to, to the chat. The bottom line is if you have an urban legend in here, then if you say her name three times, and it's not uh, the one you're thinking of. It's, <laughs> it's not that bitch. Somebody else. Right. It's somebody else. Yeah. It's somebody I created. Um, she will haunt you. 
And so she may have followed us down here to the All basement. Right. I can only Sorry go. to leave that with you guys. Oh, no, it's, it's an honor. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> I try to talk about this book, and I don't want to give like too many spoilers away for like people who haven't read it yet. I describe it as very throwback. Like, it's got throwback, kind of slumber party I, energy. Kind of a, a slumber party gone way wrong. Oh, so wrong. That just will not end. <laughs> and you want it to end, but it just home. won't end. So they're forced to have these slumber parties week after week with this urban legend that's a demon that uh, is got superpowers that are not nice and not good. And they can't uh, shake her. Mm -hmm. So this is a kind of, uh, here, here she is right here. Let's see. One-Eyed Jenny. That's a cool name. Yeah. So uh, One-Eyed Jenny. And I'm not a one, I don't want to give away too much. We can't give yeah, away yeah, too much. I don't want to give away too much. Yeah. But One-Eyed Jenny does somehow appear in this. And and I'm not going to tell you what happens. But, um, but I think the characters will unfold in a way that people will like them very much. But it is very throwback. All my stuff is. In fact, I try to make things, even my films, as you know, mm -hmm. timeless. Yeah. If you look at Blood Diner, it's 50s music. I made it, you know, there's no 50s music when I made that. I went to a label yeah. and I asked them to give me their library for the score for the diner. Oh. And then it has Wagner, classical music. Mm -hmm. You don't know when this film takes place. That's why it holds up so well because it's just timeless. The cars are timeless, the outfits they wear, the pompadour hairstyle yeah. um, was not of that era. And the um, polyester suits with the <laughs> jumpsuits <laughs> were um, at the, the Elvis polyester jumpsuits. Oh, so, oh my gosh. You wonder, people ask me, where do you buy those? I said, no, we had a costume or yeah, make them. You don't buy those. Yeah, it's a <laughs> completely other era. You don't yeah. know when it takes place. So the same kind of thing with this this comic book, you just, it could be anytime, anywhere. I use a lot of, uh, excuse me, different types of artwork that you just can't tell when yeah. it is. That's good. I have to have I think some that's water. Cool. Um, as uh, Laura says, timeless is forever, and it is. And it keeps it fresh, and it keeps it for different generations and fans, I think, to, to discover it and kind of, you know, feel like anybody... Anybody could just join in. I, I just want to say I'm having a good time reading the chat tonight as <laughs> you guys are talking. Because <laughs> okay. so, they're talking about uh, Mark wants my creep show comic and Caleb's yeah. like, you have to pray it out of his dead hands. And then yeah. Mark's was, talking about I didn't know what that was about. I saw Sorry. that pry it out of his dead hands. <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking about? Wouldn't that be funny if we're like, oh, and that's not I, a real I thought comic. You it's meant, just a picture. I thought you yeah. meant his cell phone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to pry that out of his dead hands, and because uh, yep. he's got that, his that notes too. on this, yeah. And and, and Pismo is correct that Greece too is it's superior to the Greece one in every way. So wrong. So. But where does it where does it rank with the Greasy Strangler? Um, Ooh, that's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> How did we get on Greece? Yeah. <laughs> is that the monitor? Yeah, it's, oh, a, wow. it's in no, the it's in the chat. Greece is the word. Oh, okay. so, it's a chat thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As as if you don't know, there's a chat going on, and you can chat, join in, yeah. and start chatting away and asking questions or comment on prying things out of dead hands or whatever you want to do. <laughs> Something Jackie but, has done uh, many a time, probably. Many times. Yeah. I, like, I like the visual of it. Pry it out of your Me dead too. hands. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if it's comic books. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. you're going to have to pry this baby out of your dead hands. <laughs> your, your so, ears, because you're going to be glued to this baby. Yeah, you will. Yeah. You're, you're going to want to be buried with it. And... <laughs> Someday, yes. and we're, we're putting this out there into the into the world, right? Someday we expect this to be picked up by some. We're manifesting. Some, we're, we're manifesting, manifesting destiny. That, in, that, in your that this is it easily will play to a series uh -huh. or I a feature, but I, you know, but a series. Well, I, I would like it as a series. I, 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 I keep pushing. I keep pushing it like further back on the table so it doesn't get wet, and Jackie keeps pulling it back out. <laughs> I don't, I don't we're like doing this back and forth. I love it. It's very funny. Put it on my lap. It's I'm like, a it's a contest prize. I don't want it to get a <laughs> wet ring on it. Well, yeah, we don't want to wreck your prize <laughs> before you get it. Um, that's right. But someone is asking, what is your favorite art piece from the first comic book? Ooh, okay. That's a good question. Yeah, um, oh, how do you pick? There are so many. What do you think? What's your favorite? 
I, this is well, pretty, this is probably one of my favorites, classic. just from one of the, top to bottom. Yeah, yeah. This is the decomposed bodies. It feels very much like a from the summer dead. party massacre poster. Yes, yes. If it's iconic. Plus it's got it's holes. Iconic. Yeah. I like. I don't know. Well, there's and lots of different styles. We, we, it took us twelve coloring versions to come up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. This I was is, gonna say I could see both of those as like. A print like yeah. you could buy like a print of it because the first time it went to the colorist so it kind of makes it tricky to pick a favorite yeah like this one is pretty good too i don't i <laughs> won't say good <laughs> yeah i won't say that that is uh, what's going on there because i don't want to give away the story but mm -hmm. that's a pretty good um bit and then mm -hmm. i used uh, i changed colors completely when they're fighting Oh, yeah. So, and, get and, the mood. Yeah, you get the mood. Because I wanted it to feel like there's a fireplace, but then when the fight breaks out, the whole place looks like it's inflamed. You can do that on a comic book. You can't do that with a movie. Right. And that's what I loved about working on the comic book, because you could go full, you have a license to do whatever you want. Yeah. Creatively. So, um, literally, no yeah, literally, I told the colorist to look at this Bruce Lee poster, Enter the Dragon. No! Yes. Yeah, and if you look at that, it has nothing has anything to do with Enter the Dragon. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Except for the fireplace, maybe in the first frame, the page before, mm. but then those colors take over the next page. Yeah. Um, a lot of, I was looking at a lot of comic books, a lot of them are monochromatic, or they mm -hmm. stay in the same vein. Yeah. And I would say this one, I change lighting styles so much, depending on the mood. And that was another thing that's tricky uh, with colorists, as I was... Because he gets it flat, a flat black and white. Yeah. I'm asking him to create lighting sources from the, from the. Um, in this case, they're they're talking to, uh, to Ceres. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what's, you know, how do you resurrect a dead body? <laughs> uh, <laughs> like you do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like you would do if you have a dead body. You ask, yeah. how would you resurrect a dead body? Right, Neil, you've done that before. A couple times now. We do yeah. that regularly. Yes. Yeah. So Sandra and I have started getting pretty good at it, actually. Well, these <laughs> girls are are like teenagers, so they ask series how to do everything. That's how we all learned. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As so teams. it's like okay, well, and it's, it's so there's a kind of a humor to it. Well, you always have a lot of humor, and it was kind of fun last night. It, you you guys might have missed it, but we watched the being last night here at Roxy, mm -hmm. and um. Um, it was fun because I could tell from the vibe there was people who hadn't seen this movie before mm -hmm. and some friends that I brought had not seen this movie before too. So like you can kind of feel them being like, is it okay to laugh? And it's like, yes, like if you think it's a joke, it's a joke. She put it in there on purpose <laughs> to be funny. So um, yeah, you have a wicked little sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> My daughter says, mom, people don't know your, your, your sense of humor. And they, they're a little taken. They're scared of you. <laughs> It's they're, it's scared of you. they're scared of you because yeah. they don't know you're joking. Yes, exactly. And um, so anyway, I, I was sort of the pion one of the pioneers in putting humor in horror films. I was sort of credited that by mm -hmm. a quite a few um, horror aficionados who said that, you know, before Jackie Kong came along with this kind of weird sense of humor, <laughs> they were they were very serious, you know, mm -hmm. and um but mine are mine are, are liked by horror like hardcore horror fans, mm -hmm. um, as well as finding a new audience mm -hmm. nowadays. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's um, it, it holds up, basically. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Mark has a question. Maybe I missed this. As a comic artist, who would you draw inspiration from? What other comic artists do you appreciate? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, I was bummed I couldn't go. Wait, hold on. Oh, <laughs> different, oh and then poor Mindy reading ahead. Yes. Mindy okay. couldn't go. Remember you? Um, yes, you, I signed it. You signed Hi, one Mindy. For her. Yeah, I signed. I signed one for you yesterday. Yeah, I was in line for friend. you, Mindy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, that's interesting. Uh, you know what? I don't know that many because my I have artists, not necessarily comic book. How about artists. the Peach Gal? Oh, of course. Uh, should I plug her? Why? Well, like the pretty, peach. She's pretty darn big <laughs> right. already. She's, no. She doesn't need me to plug her. Yes. <laughs> but I, I, but I will. Um, there was an artist I really loved, and I didn't know her at all. So okay. I reached out to her, and um, I said, "I love your cover art. I want you to do one for my book." Oh. And she was going, "Oh my God, Jackie Kong! I'm a huge fan. Oh, I'm a huge sweet. fan. I would love to do a yeah. uh, cover for you." But she's under contract with Marvel oh. because she won the Eisner Award. Very talented artist named. And you guys probably already know her, uh, Peach Momoko, 
and she's Japanese. She won the Eisner Award at the uh, San Diego Comic Con, I think, two years ago. It's a major honor. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's like winning the Academy Award yeah. in comic, the comic book world. Yeah, <laughs> and, less corrupt. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, you, you can't We're all bu- you can't it. buy that award. <laughs> you you actually have to be. You know, super talented, yeah. and um, it's not like a Golden Globe or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so she was a huge fan of mine, and she said, "I'd love to, but you know, I can't go into the details. But hopefully, we'll have a we'll have a cover by a variant cover by Peach Momoko soon." Oh, that'd um, be cool. so cool! Yeah. And then that's another thing you can collect as well. Yes, as a definitely. Yeah. That will be a major collector's item, as well as the Stephen Blickenstaff variant that we did for issue number one. Mm-hmm. He did this logo. That you saw my favorite thing, and he will be. He did a uh, variant cover for issue number one, Ooh. which is uh, which is not available at all. You can't get it. It already it's gone. It's already sold out. I and there were it. <laughs> yeah less than a hundred printed. <gasps> yeah, shoot, I wasn't so fast enough. If you tell your local comic book store you want that variant, uh, the Blick and Staff variant, then you then maybe I'll go into a second printing. I might just do that mm. because I'm sad that I missed it. Okay. I'm not as quick as I used to be in my old age with getting all these <laughs> well, it was variants it, and it, things. It was, uh, it's a whole new world, <laughs> and for me at least. Mm-hmm. And and um, I learned very quickly because I had wonderful friends that were publishers um, out there. And yep. Very yeah. generous with uh, sharing ideas on how to get it done. Collaborate. Yeah. How about and, the bean? What about the being? Yeah, we were just talking about it. How about the being? <laughs> How about that being? Uh, the being movie. Still terrorizing yeah. a small town in Idaho. Yeah, Pottsville. Yeah, I Pottsville. wrote that. When, I wrote that when I was twenty three because I wanted to make a straight up monster movie. Right. And I and you know why why not an environmental disaster? Uh, you know, there's certain things I did <laughs> before it was like fashionable. Okay, environmental disaster mm-hmm. with uh, the that creates this horrible monster in the that uh, raids the town and kills everybody. And you said it in Idaho um, before we knew that Idaho was going to shit. <laughs> so <laughs> we, All of our people in Idaho, we love you. <laughs> we love yeah, you. Don't, don't isolate you. your Idaho audience, yeah. Neil. But it's like, I offend uh, the French. <laughs> they won't watch us anymore. Weekly, uh, Neil offends. Yes. Um, oh, he does? Yeah. yeah, I believe that. So um, <laughs> can you tell us a little bit, we t- if you were there last night and you got to hear a little sneak preview, how did the town in Idaho react to this young whippersnapper girl coming in and making a horror film in their town? Uh, they weren't very welcoming. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I could tell you, the the um, the they said you're not Clint Eastwood. <laughs> so that's, that's true. <laughs> and you said no because shit. Clint yeah. Eastwood was <laughs> there go. making a about movie. Fucking with... Jackie Kong. Right, that's right. right. <laughs> yeah. And I was only twenty three. <laughs> Yeah. And then we had that train scene, and I had to go. I had to pay for that train to come through. Oh wow! And uh, people asked me last night, "How did you do that? How did you do that?" <laughs> I ask because it yeah. looks like the guy gets about to get totally run over. Actually, by the producer train. Scott and I both were like, "How did they do that?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just tell you real quick. Uh, old movie trick to run a very long two hundred film, about a two hundred to two hundred fifty millimeter lens right on the train track. Mm-hmm. And have the stuntman run across, and that train is truly barreling towards us. Mm-hmm. But there's a space of about forty to fifty feet between them, even though the lens compresses it, yeah. so it looks like it's right on the guy running in front. So cool. So it's a, it's a it's a uh, trick, an old trick. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I didn't. Before know they that. had yeah. CGI. <laughs> You could CGI you know, a train CGI, in there. Yeah, or the guy CGI him running across. Yeah, people actually had to f- figure out ways mm-hmm. to shoot. How did we make it look like this guy's going to get hit by a train? And it looks like a close call, right? Yeah, no, for yeah. sure. It's yeah. practical magic, baby. It yeah. is practical. That's what <laughs> the 1998 film Practical Magic. Yeah. Some, sometimes you have to. That's why I like low budget movies, too. Yeah. Because you got to be a little more clever. Creative. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you people know. ask a lot about the creature design and the concept of the creature and I wanted to add a little thing a little compliment before you talk about that I love how you don't show us too much of the creature yeah. especially like you have to keep people wanting the creature right it's for, so for as long as possible yes you know, because, until the time is right yeah except on the VH cover VHS cover there's a yeah, big but old you know what? 
that was the marketing. You know? Right. Yeah. That's the marketing. But when you're watching the movie, it's like Godzilla. You don't see Godzilla for God knows how long. At least a half hour in. Yeah, because you got to keep people scared. Right. And I remember my daughter when she was little, we were watching Godzilla. And she goes, we're about 20 minutes in, and Godzilla, Godzilla's coming. Godzilla, like, he's about to come, uh, show up, and everyone's screaming and running in Tokyo. And she said, Mom, turn it off. <laughs> turn it off, because she was so afraid to find it. And then when we finally saw Godzilla, do you remember what Godzilla was like? No, oh, yeah. Like a stuffed animal that they threw. <laughs> He's precious. Yeah, he's yeah. cute yeah. and cross-eyed. And he's being thrown <laughs> into, the, into the frame. It looks like someone's like, yeah, like it around. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and we both could not stop laughing. Oh, my God. I love it. It was actually precious. Yeah. You know, it made you really like it. Yeah. So, yeah. You know. That's a perfect example. Like, people mm-hmm. wanting to be like, oh, my God, don't, don't, like, yeah. flinching. Don't show it. You don't, you don't, you're afraid of it. The less you see, the better. And I do yes. the same in the book. The less you see of um, certain characters and yeah. things that are coming to attack them, the better. I tell them, I said, think film noir when we're lighting this. Ooh, I, like I want to see some shadows. I want to see hard shadows. I want to see long shadows. Oops. Mm-hmm. Oops, sorry. That's <laughs> so, okay. We touch these things yeah. all the time. And, uh, and <laughs> yes, so. Yes, you do. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sheepish. Mm. What Scott asked last yet last night about the slime that you use, right? Oh, caro yeah. syrup. If you have caro, caro syrup at home, just add a little bit of uh, green dye to that, and okay. you got yourself some slime. <laughs> but use it on Halloween right. this year. <laughs> Tastes good. Yeah. The thing is, <laughs> you're gonna be super sticky. Super sticky. Yeah, and uh, they don't use that anymore. This is a long time ago. And people would make their own slime, their own right. blood. Love it. Um, so yeah. you'd, you'd have that. and you, you don't know what that concoction was. We had our own vomit for uh, Blood Diner for the vomit oh, scene. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember yeah. that vomit scene? when Now everyone has done a vomit scene, but I was the first, okay? <laughs> like, that was my high vomit. Powered, <laughs> high-powered vomit scene. Nobody it. knew it was coming. And, um, and we shot it out of a cannon, like right at the extras. <laughs> Poor girl had her mouth open, and and I, I still it was so precious. She's like, ga-. she's just truly gag <laughs> <laughs> on camera. This <laughs> is so vile, but you had to make all that stuff back in the day, you know. Make so it. they there, and then the place and on that set it was 120 degrees because of all oh, the lights. God. And um, and then I said, okay, uh, that's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> a break for lunch to clean up this mess but yeah. nobody could eat because it was smelled so bad oh. Oh, they're hot and uncomfortable poor extras that's right i owe that girl i don't know where you are but i owe you something for hanging in there and she showed up for all the nightclub scene and everything Those you send her, send her wow. a comic book one day yes 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 um so, not signed not, <laughs> and that's not the worst of it yeah. the, the extras were eating um maybe we'll i still Neil get complaints <laughs> the, it wasn't my fault, but the producer, okay, you, you, the producer gets blamed for this, was feeding them, like, I got a, a complaint, bologna and a loaf of bread. Ew. Wonder bread. Ew. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking, isn't that disgusting? Yeah. And then the other producer shows up. It was like 120 degrees on our set. She goes, oh, I thought we would have uh, bring a, a, a crate of popsicles. I said, popsicles? I said, the <laughs> Those things like melted yeah, into it's a bunch be of soup. Right. Yeah. A bunch of watery mess, you yeah. know. Everybody grab a spoon. Right. Yeah. So I said really better. She meant well at least. Um so it's not she's not thinking, you know, oh. pop popsicles. Because it, it was hot. Yeah. Right. I, I can't break when I'm shooting fifty setups a day for yeah. a popsicle break. It's not happening. Yeah. It's not, not. There's a question in the chat. Um Looks like Laura. Uh, she says she read on IMDb that the being was going to be called Easter Sunday. Why the you name change? You are correct. Yeah. And why the change? Uh, that's a good question. We shot it as, as Easter Sunday. Mm-hmm. Because at that time, there weren't any horror holiday movies. There's not a ton of Easter ones, let's no, be there honest. Aren't, yeah. <laughs> no, definitely. Uh, definitely. Um, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Definitely, I'm the first on that one. Yeah, you know, but yeah. you didn't have, you know, I think Halloween. Did Halloween come out by the yeah, Halloween yes. was yeah, out. Yeah, Halloween, Halloween and Halloween Black Christmas. Was out. So and Black Christmas. Thought, yeah, Black Christmas. Yeah. yeah. So I'm thinking, why not Easter Sunday? Oh, was so innocent. But you know what? Yes. People don't think horror Easter Sunday. Well, they think Halloween some of us horror. Do. They think well, exactly. <laughs> 
black sun uh, Christmas, yeah. black Christmas. You know, yeah. you get the. It's not going to be a happy Christmas. Yeah. Right. And Easter, so it's you know, it's like oh, it's the spring. It's so innocent, yes. and everybody's outside, but you can't go outside in this town because the water is contaminated and there's a slimy thing that wants to eat you on the loose. Right. right. Yep. A very and the slimy, slimy thing. thing. <laughs> you know, but it, the re, I like my films that that have the retro feel. For mm-hmm. example. Drive-ins were a thing back then. Oh my God, the drive-ins like one of my favorite parts of the movie. That's a lot of people yeah. love yeah. that scene. Yeah, these guys are you know getting high in their car. <laughs> you know what and, else is one uh, of my favorite parts of the movie? I'm which, gonna, you know what? I'm sorry, I gotta get on my soapbox about this. Which, which she scene? always makes, you always make badass ladies. Mm. Lori's a badass. Our our diner waitress. Oh, you, yes. and you know what? She yeah. saves the men twice and that's why they had to lock her in the jail is because they're like we're not gonna get to do the thing and she is she's so capable i mean she yeah. traps it in the freezer she chops and it's like these men are useless yeah the, there was uh, yeah i won't go into detail but <laughs> but it's true i try yeah. to have really strong women they and including uh she tar Oh, we love yeah. people, people said, well, you know, there aren't all the women get killed. I said, everybody gets killed. Everybody gets killed. I said, it's like everyone dies in that, in that massive um, finale. Right. Yeah. And I said, the only one that makes it out alive is uh, Sheetar. The only woman, Fra- female Frankenstein, makes it out alive. Last and woman standing. She gets, uh, yeah, last what's, woman standing. What's the line again that the guy says when he gets Sheetar? I don't remember what, what was I'm it. Not I'm not that. Come on, I'm say a bad it. movie quote person. I, I well, can't be on the spot. What? It's a totally out there line, but he's but Sheetar is making a move out of the club, <laughs> fully dressed in red, cleavage, sexy, high heels, red pumps. She's walking down Hollywood Boulevard at four in the morning. Of course, some guy's gonna come up and bother her. Yeah, I said, of course. What's the line though? I, said, I, I can't remember. I just remember where it's goes, out hey, there. Hey, baby, hey, baby, you're looking good. Yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. I thought it was more than that. It's more than that. You have to deliver the line. Okay. I don't action. remember. I don't. Baby, I, I baby, don't, baby, I don't, you're looking I good. Remember. I just remember that. that it was out there. Okay, See, right? that's why I can't do hey, the pressure. Hey, baby, baby, you're looking good. <laughs> Hey, uh, would you like some company? Hey, yeah. okay. hey, hey, would you <laughs> like some company? She makes a walk into the car. She gets in the car and she says, "Ooh, you're looking good. You're looking good." Um, and she says, "He says, uh, wine." I, I don't. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I need your help. <laughs> well, I'm not telling you because okay. you gotta you know go what? see go the movie. Watch it. Uh, yeah, but you yeah. know what? It's it's a very Does satisfying. Know it? no, it's okay. satisfying. I just remember I it's a. It off the top it's of an head. inappropriate line, is what yeah. I remember. Yeah, but I can't remember it's, it. It's so out there. Yes. That people are taken okay, aback. Sorry. So I can't spill that line. But see, that's what we love. We yeah. want them to be taken aback. And it's it's a killer ending. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and that last shot, I'm on a crane. We go up, and it's four in the morning. My guys push that crane all the way. My guys, girls, to my whole team. So I have a really multi-racial and totally gender, gender multi-gender, multi-racial we love it. crew. Yeah. Always before anyone made you do it, you know. Mm. Right, you're uh, like, no, I really yeah, want. Yeah, we, we had like, yeah, I had a female key grip, you know. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, just really um, good team. And then, uh, and my script supervisor, my right hand. At the time, even the guys couldn't keep up with my shooting schedule. So it was like she understood my shooting schedule and would stay with me. And uh, they'd come to her and ask, what's up next? What's up next? What's up next? And mm-hmm. literally, I had it all um, laid out. Mm-hmm. But um, but anyway, the uh, we were out there on Hollywood Boulevard shooting that last shot going down. And that's Hollywood Boulevard in the middle of the night. Wow. Yeah. Did you pay for right that or front, was that a right stolen? Right in front of the Chinese theater. Right in front of the Gromis Chinese theater. That's awesome. Yeah. Was that a stolen? Permanent? You stole it? No. Okay. no. Just I steal it. Permanent. No, the police weren't even up or, and around at <laughs> 4 in the morning. <laughs> They're sleeping. You know, we, we were filming They're at a sneezing. club nearby. Yeah. And I shot the one um, crane shot when we were coming into the club. I only had the crane for one day. This is how resourceful I had to be. Yeah. And then I said, I'm mo- using the hell out of that crane. I'm shooting the finale shot. I'm shooting the intro shot. I yeah. shot several all over near Hollywood, uh, in Hollywood, near the near Hollywood Boulevard. Yeah. And so we had to push that crane down the street at three in the morning, and uh, and that shot was a great ending shot. Yep, yeah. it is a great ending shot. But it's it's iconic. Yeah, it's, it's uh, very iconic. I and that it. line is iconic, but you you don't remember what it I is. Don't, I, I feel like it's worse than just hey, you want you want some company. Maybe it isn't. Maybe no, I'm. No, it's 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 a, a lot more explicit. graphic. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> so in the being, yeah, yes, yes, we we're talking about the drive-in scene. The drive-in scene, and I and I had to I had to defend my girl, our waitress diner. I had to defend her. But so in the drive-in scene, yes. So from start to finish, I adore that scene, especially because mm-hmm. of the stupid stoner guys. Oh my yes. god! So well, th- let me just explain what happens. The stoner <laughs> guys are getting stoned, and they're watching a monster movie on the screen, and they uh, up comes our monster in their frosted window, um, and it's looking at him, and and. They think it's a prank, a PR prank from the theater. Yeah, they're like some guy in a suit. Yeah. They'll do anything for like a scare. Right. Yeah. Like and the old William Castle yeah, gigs yeah. or yes, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so he rolls down his window and tells him to fuck off. <laughs> so, hey, man, fuck and, off. And, yeah. and literally the monster drags him out of the window <laughs> <laughs> and pulls him out of, out of the car. And the other guy's like, like <laughs> you know, reacting. So. Yeah, and it's perfect because then it's even more like, Nobody believes them. Right. <laughs> this guy I, I love this stoned. premise of nobody believing you. But to me, this is one of the most frightening things when something bad has happened. I agree. Yeah, it's not when yeah. you, when nobody believes that that's happened. I I do that in ep in not this issue, the second issue, but the third issue. There's a guy that's going to be one of your favorite characters oh. that witnesses some of the stuff here. Mm-hmm. Nobody believes him, and there's a reason nobody believes him. Sure. And, uh, and but he's one of the most he's. When I wrote the script, he's one of the, my favorite characters. Oh, yeah. that's really exciting! That's something to look forward to. So yeah, so he, you get look for that, and I'll tell you. I'll, I'll tell you more about it later. Okay. But uh, one thing nice about the book, the series, is I, I've already developed the characters already down twenty issues. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. So it's nice. I. I. It's nice to have a trajectory and an arc. It's how you fall in love with arc. your characters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, Tommy, and, I, and I got a good compliment yeah. today from. Lauren, hi Lauren, at OP Comics and Games. She said, you know, she read it. She loved the music, but she said what was, which was a great compliment. She's compliment. She said, um, there's an arc in, in the issue. You uh-huh. you can actually sometimes comics they leave you hanging, but there's no arc, mm-hmm. and it doesn't finish the a complete story. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. In issue one, you actually get that, but it leaves you it leaves you hanging. Wanting to know what's going to happen next, but right. there is a complete. There's just some satisfaction in the story. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, Tommy has a question, and this is probably, I don't know if this is going to be hard to answer or really easy to answer. It says Jackie, what's it like to be a movie director? <laughs> That's a funny question. <laughs> so it's like you're a tyrant. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no. Um, for me, you know, when I was directing, I was one of the few women forget women in horror but women yeah directing so it was really you know i think it would be different now because i'm hoping that people don't make you prove yourself so much yeah um to to get the respect to get them to listen to you and that's what i was difficult for me being a woman you're quite a woman honestly. yeah you're not white yes you're you know like you're i, I am not what they visualize absolutely a, yeah. a director should look like yeah. but yet i know exactly what i want and what i where i want the camera and what i want the actors to do so there's a sometimes i'm not saying all the time but sometimes there's this this um challenge where you just have to show that you know what you're doing it's like even a little bit with a comic book but a little less yeah but you have to really prove yourself Confidence. Yeah. More than I would say a man would have to. Mm-hmm. Um, so you really, and, and the proof of the pudding is always the product, as the end film or the end comic book. Yeah. If it's good, then you get kudos, you get respect. Right. But if you, you know, when you're starting out, it's it's not easy, you know. And I wouldn't even say starting out. It took me a while. Each film I had to earn the respect. Mm-hmm. And I had to uh, be a little tough, you know. Yeah. Tough as nails. Um and not take what I call the BS, you know, of uh, of someone trying to mansplain something to me. Ew. I'm going, oh, my God. I said, you know, I run a 35-person crew. I don't need you to mansplain yeah. to me how this is done. I know I've done it several times. Yeah. And She's got it. Yeah. I got, I got this. <laughs> you can sit down. Right. She's got this. Yeah. <laughs> but that happens once in a while. And it doesn't happen anymore mm. because, uh, you know. Now you got respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I earn my respect. Well, because they know that you have a knife. Yeah, they know <laughs> that I will, and I will, I will fuck them up. Exactly. <laughs> See that? There's blood on that. 
<laughs> on the murder weapon. Yeah, you see that it's dripping with blood, and so don't that. don't mess with me. So what's it like being a director? It's it's fun when it comes out great, and it's horrible when it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. You know? So that's the challenge. You get this kind of high if it's coming out good. So I push for excellence. Yeah. And um, I don't, you know, some people, and I don't get this. Just want to make a movie. I don't want to make a movie. No, it's not art. A, yeah, I want to make a yeah. great movie. I want to make a great comic book. I don't yeah. want to just make a comic book. Right. And I've made four feature films, and if it's not something that is challenges me, yeah, I don't want to do it. That's why, if this were a series, that would be interesting to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we've got enough star story arcing. We've got enough great characters. Mm -hmm. The music's already good, don't you think? Yeah. And. Um, uh, one of the pieces the, of score was actually scored by a composer when he saw my work. He saw Blood Diner. Oh, my he, God. And he said to me, please, can I work with you? He works with Guillermo del Toro. Oh, we love that. Yes, and uh, and he did two of the cues, the electric oh, okay. oh, I can't say. I don't want to spill the cues. Oh, yes. But he did two cues in the, in the book, Daniel Weir. That's really cool. That's yeah. really sweet to be like, I want to work with you. Yeah. yeah. So that, I, that part I love. Yeah. You know, when everyone... Just really wants to work with you and really wants to and you're starting to collaborate and gel and the magic yeah you create magic That's so for those who might not know maybe you're a new horror fan or new to you know whatever jackie um like i said game changer very innovative uh, doing it before a lot of people were doing it especially women um and you get to talk to people people who want to make films women who want to make films people of color who want to make films you get to inspire them what inspired you? Ah, well, we're gonna get to that in the game. Ooh! In the, do you know Jackie Kong? Is that the truth name of the or game? consequences? <laughs> no, truth, no, truth or consequences, uh, right? Kong or consequences? I think we decided. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, something like that. We're workshopping it. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? Did you can I ask this? Did you make films as a kid? Oh, yes, I did. I did you make horror films? Um, no, I made. Um, I wrote one was called uh, I made an action movie. Oh, I love it. <laughs> called Three Feet of Fury. Oh, I and... love it. Three feet of fury. <laughs> like height. Height. <laughs> <laughs> and it was actually uh, because my um, oh, gosh, it was actually really funny. It was uh, I was fifteen, couldn't even drive, and I needed. I, I found my stepfather's Super Eight camera, a bull U Super Eight camera. And um, I said, we're going to the beach. We're making this Three Feet of Fury with my, <laughs> with my, with my brother, who oh. was the three feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> he was a little tiny guy, about you know, three feet tall, but he could do the nunchucks, uh -huh. and he could do what? he could do all this martial arts stuff, but he couldn't do it with the real nunchucks. Yeah, they would have to be like he could fake it, like. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, nice. so I shot this. I shot Three Feet of Fury with him, and then I shot another Super Eight movie called um, Days and Nights at the Beach. Oh, I love that! Yeah, a, yeah. a, a tribute to Sanjit Ray. Um, oh, and uh, and then that was with my brother and Christian Brando. Oh, oh my gosh. And Marlon saw it and had a fit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because Christian was in it. Yeah, yeah. He just, Christian was so good. He was so good in it. And uh, natural, he's like absolute oh natural. God. And um, and Marlon described it as a poem. He said that that was like a poem. That uh, it was very poetic, but it was very okay. funny at the same time. About so two sweet. brothers fishing on the on the Santa Monica Pier, and the, the one little guy couldn't catch anything. So, but anyways, it was a. I should find these. You I know, should. I find know them. that should be so fun. When I was in high school, the teacher wanted to. Uh, Turn them, you know, did, they didn't have digitized them. Yeah, transfer you know, them. To, them. Yeah. But I didn't want them all over our Beverly Hills. I was I grew up in Beverly Hills TV station, you mm. know, because they were just like personal. Yeah. 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 So yeah. I never transferred them. But uh, well, dig them up and then we'll transfer yeah, them. Yeah, dig them we'll up. Have we a special see. screening. I hope the splices are still holding up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing we have to get the little splicing. I had the little splicing machine. That's right. And a little glue and <laughs> glue it. Yeah. Sc scratch it a little bit and glue it together. That sounds like a perfect job for Neil. Yeah. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I had a fantastic score: Stanley Turrentine, uh, jazz musician, and uh, Donald Byrd. 
for your Fantastic for your little eight millimeter ones. Yeah, I always wow. put music to my my stuff. Music's important. Yeah, it it's is. So important. It's, you know, I I say in a movie, there's like five major important things, and if you're falling short on any of them, the movie starts to fall apart, okay. and that it leans too hard on all the others. One's obviously the writing, okay. mm-hmm. directing, music, mm-hmm. editing, cinematographer. Mm-hmm. And acting, so six. six. You got to have all six of those firing, otherwise it falls short. And someone you have to lean heavy. If the acting's not good, you lean heavy on the editing, mm-hmm. right? Directing's not good. You know, you've got to have. That's got to be the balance um, right. artistically in a film. Those are your ingredients. Speaking mm-hmm. of possibly bad acting, mm-hmm. what was it you told me about Martin Landau's comment about your lead actor oh, in the being? Oh my God, oh. The, Ma- Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Martin was a really nice guy, and he really tried so hard. He's an hard. icon, yeah. too. He's an icon, yeah. Funny as hell in person, telling jokes, joke, 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 almost like a cat skills comedian. Mm, okay. Nice. So funny. And and he was trying to help. And, and I remember Jose Ferrer, Martin, and the person that played was in the monster outfit <laughs> went to the Boise Country Club. <laughs> God. To play golf, <laughs> and I remember that I they, we came back and they said, "Oh my God, we had, they had to run because uh, Jerry Marin, who was the the guy in the monster suit, yeah. sliced it, and it flew out over the off the course and in, in traffic <laughs> on the, side oh, of the no. road. And then they, I and it obviously hit a car; it probably broke the windshield. So oh, he's like, but you can only imagine the three of them running <laughs> off a golf course in Boise, Idaho.'" <laughs> They're like, it's so, those Hollywood people. Yeah, those yeah. crazy Hollywood those people. Those horror people. Right. Clint Eastwood would never. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, because they had Clint Eastwood there uh, uh, like a month before shooting some circus movie. I don't know. Some cowboy circus movie. And then so so <laughs> <laughs> when we arrive, it's like, oh, that's not Clint Eastwood. And they actually wrote that in the Boise paper. Oh, oh my God. I'm like, oh, there's this film here, and it's not Clint Eastwood. <laughs> it's a, Low budget monster movie. I know? bet so many of like the people that yes. live there today, though, who kind of came up with that movie and the kids, they probably love that that it was filmed there. Yeah, probably. Yeah, they probably yeah. love. They probably own it now. But yeah, yeah it's a, how many movies are shot in Idaho? Can you think of? You no, know? I I wouldn't know. Yeah, well, I don't really want to go back there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. I could leave I'm Idaho. Good. Um, it's not my, it wasn't my favorite place. I'm sure. Yeah. Maybe your band, maybe they have your picture up at the border. And Perhaps. they're like, do not under any circumstances. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Thank goodness I don't look the same <laughs> <laughs> that I did back when I shot that movie. But, uh, so, so, so I don't know if you guys are deflecting my Martin Landau question. Right. Or, uh, <laughs> you did a real good job at taking it completely off my question. Oh, well, anyway, oh that was a but... fun story, though. <laughs> Uh, Mar- Martin is uh, anyway. Was trying to help all the actors. Go ahead, some novice actors working on the on the yes. show. Yes, yeah. but he said that lead actor was the worst actor he's ever worked with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. And I would never say that to his face, but he said to me, Jackie, I'm, this is really hard because he would right. he would not make eye contact. Mm. If you notice when you watch the movie, he has a very difficult time making eye contact. There's a lot of blinking and. And uh, he wouldn't make eye contact with the other actors, and and you know acting yeah. is reacting. Yeah. So you they have, need that. Yeah, they yeah. have to be able to get something to react to, right? Yeah. That's yeah. why it's very not fair. Some big movie stars, for example, they do their close up. So you know, basically, you do the way it usually works. You shoot a master shot, and then mm-hmm. the bigger star you are, the first person gets their close up. So if you're Martin Landau, or let's say the you know, Ryan Gosling or whatever, yeah. they get their first close-up. Yeah. Then it works sort of down the line, the, <laughs> the hierarchy, yeah. until you come around and you get the, the less important actors or yeah. the not as famous. So a lot of times, these big actors will do their close-up and they go, okay, I'm going to go to my trailer now, uh, you see, and they yeah. walk off and they let the script girl read the lines. Right. So, so it's right. like, it's like, um, so... And it's, that's a courtesy. A lot of big mm-hmm. actors will do that as a courtesy for the other person. So it's important to be able to re- react to them. But yes. sometimes you'll see these bad performances because they're acting to the script supervisor. Right. And so it's like, I, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, and yeah, it's, it's not like, genuine. It's not genuine. they got to react yeah. to that. Uh, do you think we'll make it out alive? <laughs> you know? <laughs> 
And then the person's like, I, I just don't know if we're going to make it out alive. I believe we can go that way. And there's, you know. <laughs> right. So you know how hard that is to yeah. act to? That's why certain actors, they have to be, that's what also CGI is tough like that. Oh, I bet. Yeah. You're not reacting to anything. There's a yeah. friggin' monster. Or a ball. Or, or, yeah. yeah. Here's, here's the tennis ball <laughs> that's supposed to be like eat, about to eat you Aren't alive. You scared? Yeah. yeah. And that's why Shia LaBeouf was pretty brilliant because he looked like he was really reacting to all those weird cars that were not there in that in or the transformers tra i hate this transform movies <laughs> uh, you yeah. know, I, I they're boring, horrible. They're oh, boring. Horrible. jerry bruckheimer's not gonna watch yeah, anymore I, 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 I don't like jerry or bruckheimer whoever. movies michael bay yeah, michael, michael bay's bay, bay gonna and explode and he our show he doesn't care i'm sure but yeah. really michael bay it's hard to watch those movies because it's hard to just, follow those movies because yeah. there's too much it, going on. It's, yeah. it's bored. It's too much CGI. Bored yeah. as hell. If you don't have a guy like Shia LaBeouf <gasps> yeah. reacting to everything like that, you know, yeah. he looks. He looks like he's nuts. Yeah, actual <laughs> cannibal Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, because he has. To, <laughs> he, he must be because you can, you can't do as a normal person. You can't do that. No, no. You know? Think of it, Kayla. I'm gonna say okay now. Um, a giant car is coming at you at full speed now. React. Ah! <laughs> that's not bad that's that was actually good. Pretty, yeah, pretty good, good. yeah it, it, hopefully okay. you know what good director hey, michael, good actor michael bay hire <laughs> michael, him. that was just my first okay. take imagine how you know what you're right on my 20th can you okay. imagine if you actually threw like a green ball at his head <laughs> you know what happened then i feel like i feel like throwing <laughs> <something. laughs> yeah. yeah so there's a talent to that right yeah yeah I don't want to miss another question because I know we're probably going to move to the game soon. Oh, okay. um, but it was asked, what's your favorite filming location? Probably favorite favorite one you've done, I'm guessing. Oh, location, where I've shot. Um, well, it's very limited where I've shot. I shot in Hollywood. Yeah. Blood Diner. Yeah. All over Hollywood. And then um, Nine Patrols all over L.A., the streets of L.A., downtown, mm -hmm. everywhere, Venice. Um, More stolen shots. A lot of stolen shots yeah. because a lot of places are very expensive to get a permit. Yeah, you know, <laughs> so um, dumb. yeah, they don't want you there. No, exactly. Yeah, Beverly yeah. Hills, one of them. You got to spend. I think back in the day it was fifteen hundred dollars a day. Get out. Yeah, and Pasadena, they don't want you there. It's yeah. also fifteen hundred. Santa Monica, they don't want you there. Yeah. So you know these big productions can afford to spend fifteen hundred to two thousand a day on a yeah. permit. But normally, I shot around L.A., but I had to steal shots. I love know. that. It's kind of guerrilla filmmaking in a way. I love yeah. that you stole things. I yeah, I, was, I would go into Burbank, for example. There was a rooftop yeah. night patrol, a rooftop uh, penthouse we wanted to use of the pool. Yeah. And um, and then, and I wanted to shoot the, the, the scene with J.P. Morgan for the end credits and uh, Andrew Dice Clay in the bed. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a, like a little what happened to kind yeah. of thing. And then I wanted to shoot on the rooftop. Well, we're shooting there, and and I don't have trucks on the street, a lot of them. Yeah. But somehow the police found out we were filming up top with no permit. <laughs> so, um, so you know, you have to be really resourceful. And I'm shooting two locations a day yeah. at that time because Night Patrol was a very fast, no budget movie. And uh, so I remember saying, "Load someone, take a van." <laughs> this, is, this is what I had to do: take a van, load up everything we need to finish shooting here. And then I want you to make a mass exodus with all the trucks and very visible to the next location in Van Nuys so that the police can see we left, but they won't see the van. Take the van down into the subterranean garage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unload the equipment in the elevator. Take it yeah. up to the penthouse. Yeah. And let me finish shooting, shooting the scene. And I then, love it. Just a little um, illusion. Mm -hmm. A little sleight of hand. Yes. Yep. So they yeah. think th that we've moved. And then they don't. They cannot with a search without a search warrant. <laughs> Where's your come they, back to the warrant? Yeah, they yeah. can't come into the the penthouse. So as long yeah. as we had the equipment up there, I could keep shooting. And then every, the rest of the crew went to the second location, which was the comedy club. Okay. That they could start pre lighting yeah. and start wiring. And so and then you get to the comedy club. There's nobody there. <laughs> Right, so yeah. I, I had a very resourceful <laughs> film crew. I don't know if Neil, you're up, for, have the stomach for this, yeah. but I, I hear, I there's no, there's nobody here. I said, call the alarm. I said, call them up and find out where they are. They so if I find out that the production manager sets off the burglar alarm, <gasps> okay, and then picks up the phone and says, hi, we're filming. <laughs> and and, uh, and then they, and then we, and then they were, they were, they were um, pre-lighting it. 
But I don't know, back in the day, they didn't really research. I, I think it was the audacity to pick up the phone. I love it. Yeah. It's, it's like, like Jackie right. Kahn film. Yeah, we're yeah. filming here right now. What's the problem? Yes, yeah. we're, yeah, we accidentally set off the alarm. Yes. Okay, yeah. bye. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, we did have permission, but there was no one there to let us in. Right, ah. so just get in how you yeah. get in. So yeah. I don't know. I don't really want to know the details how they how they got off, in. Yeah, how they set off that alarm. <laughs> <laughs> Need to have but, a deniability. Uh, that'd but, be that'd yeah. be funny if when they picked up their phone, they're like, "Well, yeah, we, we had to break in because the cops drove us off of the last place." Right. You know, that's yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> Call the Burbank good. Police Department. <laughs> the vouch for us. Know who we are. Okay. But uh, yeah, sometimes we had to do that. It and happens. I was so young. I was twenty when I shot. Um, when I shot, gosh, Blood Diner, well, I was in my late 20s, but when I shot Night Patrol, I was 25. Right. And I looked like about 15, you know, and so they were like, oh, it's student film. Yeah, they're like, it's student film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not, it's not an, a real film. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's a student film. So, and then I always had women production managers. So between all the women, they would say, they'd look at us and go, oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> We're just a bunch of students. Oh, just these silly girls making <laughs> right. a silly movie. Yeah. So sometimes it actually kind of worked to your favor. Exactly. Yeah. And in that particular instance, it it absolutely did. You That's know. Fun. And also with the uh, unions, it helped because they didn't really want to threaten us. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. That doesn't look good. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. look good. A bunch of teamsters trying to threaten you and blow up your because uh, we had a um, production manager on the Being. He was a USC professor, very snotty and really like kind of. The teams just show up and they said, well, you know, let's see who's uh, um, uh, in, the in the union. Hmm. And he goes, oh, I'm sorry, I won't talk to you. And <gasps> he was like, you never do that. Hmm. Never. You always talk to the person. So the, one of the actors went to talk to the union mm -hmm. and because uh, they threatened to blow up the, uh, with the other guy, they threatened to blow up the, uh, the camera truck. Whoa. They said, yeah, if you don't uh, talk to us, we're going to blow up your camera truck. These are all unofficial things. Okay. <laughs> but they yeah. wanted to blow right. the camera truck. So I said I sent Kent Perkins, who played the 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 uh, cop that got his heart. Oh yeah. Out. Okay. Oh yeah. So he's a good old boy Tex, and he goes in there. What seems to be the problem? Here? Oh no. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, oh, this is our people. That's yeah. right. They, somehow he could relate to the police uh, or the uh, the teamsters. And they said, uh, he says, what can I do for you? What can we what can we do to make this work? So sometimes you just have to work on it and send the right people to talk to, the, to what's going to happen. And they said, okay, this is the deal. You make everyone that's driving join the union. Okay. Yeah. And we said, well, yeah, we could do that. And, um, and then we'll let you stay, um, you know, that rate with the, all the new. So they just had more people in their union. That's all. Oh, so, well, yeah. That worked well, out. Good. You know, yeah. resourceful. Yeah. Perfect. Resourceful. Same thing happened when I did a um, karaoke nights, which was the first internet TV show. There was no SAG agreement on what to do with SAG actors that are working on internet shows. Oh, wow. Yeah. And so I, I get a call from the union, hey, uh, you've got 10 SAG actors working on a, <laughs> on, on a, you know, Internet, yeah. On an yeah. internet show. What I is said, internet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, uh, I said, you don't have an internet contract. I said, well, we're gonna have one. We're gonna oh, we're have, gonna have we're it. We're gonna have yeah. an, an internet contract. I said, well, when you have one, let me know. <laughs> 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 I said, because otherwise, are you telling me these actors can't work? Right. Right. I said, uh, I tell you what, I, cause, and I, this was a, because it's all negotiation, right? Yeah, exactly. So I said, I tell you what, I have other 40 actors working here, all non-union. I said, this is an Asian American project. We're trying to create more Asian American content with positive images. Mm -hmm. I said, we're working, we're, we have, we're, this is a non-profit. I raised the money through a non-profit organization. Right. And I said, uh, I have a great idea. Why don't you Put all my 40 actors in your union. I love they, it. They didn't want it, of course. Oh, oh no, we're not, we don't want to do that. Okay, forget it. The, the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the minute you, we have the contract, we just want you to sign that you will agree to that. I see. Yeah, I said, okay, mm -hmm. fine, signed it. Kept yeah. All right. So those are the kinds of things, nightmarish stuff. If you want to produce one of these, uh, or the one of these shows with me, or mul multiples that you have to deal with, it's just... Pain in the neck. Get ready, Neil. Not, oh, yeah. Not creative at all. Yeah. I mean, you're just dealing with There's business. The business, yeah. yeah. Do you handle it's that? It's the headaches I do deal with now. Really? I mean, look at, look at We this. are awful to, to deal with. <laughs>
Okay. Sandra's got our people constantly hollering at me. All my people. Which Her trailer's are, which... not big enough. The food's not good enough. <laughs> and Bigger says, makeup budget. When he says my people, that is that is cats, that is raccoons. <laughs> right, that right. That is possums. Yes. Um, so speaking of business, shall we, should we play a game? I think we should play a game. Okay, what's All the right. game? Okay, so you are know we gonna we're going to take, take a 60 second break so we can transition. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll come back for our game. All right. Let's go. Welcome to Consequences. Truth or uh, Truth Kong or, con or Consequences. Yeah, something like that. With Jackie Kong. Jackie Kong. The Jackie behind us. The big, or behind it. Which side is J Jackie Kong? Am I, am I back there? You're you there. Me? You're there. Oh, you're like God. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> I hope she's Don't eat me, Jackie. kind and benevolent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's sort of scary. I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed. Okay. I think this is great. Jackie's got questions. We have to get them right. If we don't, then we are faced with consequences. Kayla, what is your consequence? Uh, I will be eating bacon and cheese flavored crickets. Yum. Oh. Have fun with that, oh Kayla. Oh, my God. Um, I will be doing a cold show favorite, which is hot sauce. Hot Ooh, sauce? Yeah. Okay. And I've got uh, these, the Beanie Bots, right? Is that what they're called? These nasty. The Bean Boozled, the nasty bean -boozled. flavors. Oh. Yeah. Which so. Caleb and I will, we have vowed we will never do that again. We'll never do that nope. again. So we'll see. I'm hoping I get a lot of the canned dog food one. Maybe some barf. I like the barf flavor. Yeah. So. The Rotten Egg. There's a barf flavor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Okay. One of my favorites. <laughs> <laughs> he's done it so many times, he's got yep. favorites. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So, Jackie, are you ready to play? Let's play. Yes. Let's okay. do it. Right. Fire it up. If I'm looking that way, that's not really. You can look straight ahead. Straight yeah. ahead. Yeah. Wherever you want. All right. Camera one. Number camera two. one. This is the. Is this my camera? How well do you know Jackie Kong game? Okay. And there will be consequences if you get this wrong. Okay. <laughs> Who gave me a 16 millimeter camera for my 18th birthday? It's multiple choice. Which order okay. do we go in, or do we like? Well, no, we're we we we're, we're a team. as a group. Okay, I have an idea. I know who it is, so I have to I have to re recuse myself from, <laughs> from this, this one. one? Yes. yes. All right. What's so we'll Whatever you guys decide. It's a, it's a, it's I, will, I will choice. eat whatever happens. Multiple choice. Okay. Yes. Right. Get ready. Vincent Price, Marlon Brando, or my high school 
film, my high school film teacher. I'm going to say Marlon Brando. I think so. I think it was inspired by the piece. Yeah. Yeah. With, uh, with the initiative at the sun. Is it Marlon? You would be correct. Oh, thank God. Yay. Woo! <laughs> Good job, guys. Fair. Yes. Good job. See, we, we paid attention yeah. during the lecture. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right. Who came to me in my dream and told me to make a comic book? Multiple choice. Keanu Reeves, Johnny Depp, River Phoenix, or Ethan Hawke? Okay, this is awesome. Damn. So do you know this one, Neil? We yeah. can discuss this one? Yeah, no, I, I think I know this one, too. I mean, you think, or, like, can you play? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure <laughs> yeah. I do, yes. You, okay, so yeah, you, he's disqualified. You he guys can play. talk, and then I'll, uh... All right. Well, how are you ever going to have to do a bean boozled if you know well, all the answers? Well, I, if you guys get it wrong, I will be eating it. Okay. okay. I'm part of that's the team. team. That's team support. Okay, what are we thinking? <laughs> I want it to be hmm. River Phoenix. Personal choice. Well, I mean, that would be nice. I want um, it to be River I, I will back your play. We're going to say River Phoenix. Uh, no! <laughs> it was Keanu. Keanu. It was Keanu. 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 Okay. Dreams right. said, oh, God. Make a comic right. book, Jack. You see this, guy? And it turns out he made one. Yet. I need to All kind right. of work up to this. So, oh, yeah. The bomb will help Is that a cricket? It's a cricket. Oh, okay, Cheese on. and bacon flavored. Yeah. Oh, I, feel, <laughs> I feel like it's plucking it on nature. Uh, and uh, adding fake cheese and bacon to it. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. We're all I can't oh, watch. you're doing. Neil just went. Okay. All right, go. Mm, it, mm, uh, crunchy. crunchy. Stale. It's delicious, but it's hot. <laughs> it's delicious, but it's hot. Okay. I don't think I can say this one about the Super 8 movie. Why not? Because you are. You're oh, because you already talked about it. Movie. Yeah. Okay. We'll be paying attention. Now. Okay. Oh, true or false? false. Jackie Kong. Is an amazing surfer. True or false? Oh, shit. Okay. I say false. Well, Jackie's from SoCal, and a lot of people in SoCal surf. But, like, is she amazing? I don't know. <laughs> so uh, just spit it out. Reason, I, I I'm not saying. I don't blame you. No hints for like, me. No, I got the jet. You want... Wait, what flavor was it? <laughs> Barf. Uh, <it's> your favorite. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. Is Jackie Khan an amazing surfer? True or false? Uh, I, I think no. I say what? No. I'm going to say no. You said no? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding? Yeah. I am an amazing surfer. In whose mind? Uh, in, my, in, <laughs> in my mind, I'm an amazing surfer. I just learned during the pandemic. Are you for real? That makes for you an amazing? Real. Like I, you could. Okay, let's get this one then. Because, because you guys will never agree that I'm, <laughs> that I'm a good We got to see it. We'll find yeah, it. you got to see it to believe it. But I, 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 I have a surfboard. Receive, I did not receive a video ahead of time. <laughs> <laughs> That's, well, okay. It uh, didn't happen unless right, we have right, so unless we have proof. Okay. Okay. You can't agree on that. How many wetsuits, surfing wetsuits, do I have? One, two, three, or four? <laughs> I love this question. I feel like you're just counting up. <laughs> <laughs> um, Trick question six. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it would be cool if you have multiple ones. Agreed. Yeah. And a good, an amazing surfer would have. But four well, seems excessive. Time. Four seems excessive. Well, what if she really <laughs> likes them, though, and she's got, like, different colors and stuff? They're never, they're never well, according to Neil, she only thinks she's a good surfer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am. Notice really how I didn't surfer. say you were a bad surfer there. Yeah. I just blamed it on you. You know, I think Keanu Reeves taught her how to surf. Yeah. Thank you, Keanu. Apparently, he knows how to surf, too, but he didn't come to me and my dream surfing. It was the comic. How many are we saying? You pick. You pick. We'll back you. Three. 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 Four. Four. Oh, it's excessive. That's excessive. Because a good surfer, an amazing surfer, would have four for any kind of weather. You got the two, three, three, four, depending on the weather, right? So the audience knows this. Come on, you guys. <laughs> well, you guys can help us out next time. Okay. Right. Shout something out. All right, you can, you can help them. Good. I mean, you don't even have to have the consequences. Okay. You can just say the um, wrong thing just to see Sandra eat more hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I'll give you something easier. What, what flavor okay. did you get, Neil? Spoiled milk. I'll make it. I'll make that like behind your hand or something for God's sake. I'm gonna make it easier for you guys here. Go ahead. We're doing fine. My second film, Night Patrol, opened number one at the box office in what major city? 
Chicago, Los Angeles, New York, or Philadelphia? Okay, let's talk this one out. So the it's filmed in L.A., so people are going to like that. She, Jackie famously um, did, like, guerrilla recruiting from – uh, comic shops and parking lots and clubs and stuff. So that would bring a big LA crowd. However, 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 maybe a lot of to these. Be fair. <laughs> <laughs> I could see the Londoners being like, "Oh, jolly good show." No, London, London's no, not. London wasn't oh, was it London? Was it <laughs> was there, was there, was there British? It was, it was LA. No, they were all in the states. No, LA, no, here, let me give you Chicago, come again, come again. New York, Chicago. Philadelphia. Uh-huh. Los Angeles, New yeah. York City, or Philadelphia. Should have opened in London. They would have loved it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. I think it's New York. Chicago. Oh, Chicago. We Chicago. We got a New York. What do you think? I was thinking. Would Philly. you like to call someone? <laughs> phone a friend. Phone a friend. Now, would you like to call someone? Producer Scott, what do you think? I'm gonna go with Chicago. Let's go with okay. Chicago. Let's do it. Let's I'm live. I'm not tipping my hand here. Okay, so we got a. All right. New York, Chicago, Chicago, Philly, and you, Thomas, Chicago. Chicago. Three Chicago. Okay. The re- the, tr- the right answer is New York City. Ah, hey. uh, We can't trust Neil, but we should have. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So I dip my little knife And that's again. a really hard market to break. That's why that was a big surprise. Because mm, if you make it in New York, <laughs> you're, you're, you're get you're a like, anywhere. Thank yeah. God. I got, like, it. I got a good one. You. I got toothpaste. <laughs> Well, Hardest I don't even city. know, but it's, it's starting to hurt my yeah. mouth, like my lips mm, okay. and my mouth. Yeah. How, how are you guys doing up there? Oh, oh, great. I'm great. These crickets okay. are delicious. Okay, good. Yeah, Neil. <laughs> Sarcasm? Yuck. You might have to start. Do I have back. a leg in my teeth? <laughs> <laughs> More of an ant, and a, what do you call them? Antenna. <laughs> antenna. All right. Next. <laughs> okay, antenna. this is a question from uh, that I didn't write, but someone wants to know, what is my happy place? Um, is it out on your surfboard? <laughs> no. <laughs> My happy place Hawaii. is Cancun, Maui, Rome, Italy, or just sitting at home. Oh, I could actually See, I, make I, an before argument. Before you even yeah. said anything, I said Hawaii. So. Oh, that was your instinct. Because. Yeah. You just see Jackie in Hawaii. I, I think I've seen you post yeah. about being there with your daughter. Numerous Ooh. times. I would concur numerous, about numerous that. times. All right, so yeah. you guys got that one right. Yay! <laughs> I can see all of those though. You can make an argument for all of those. Places. No, I yeah. Yeah. So I uh, no, but Maui. Maui. If I if yeah. this gets made into a uh, a series, I'm moving to Maui. <laughs> <laughs> Watch I, out, Maui. I already promised the Maui. Uh, comic in, uh, store that I would move there and they said we're holding you to that I love okay. it the, the, so I did a signing there when I was on in, on Maui that's probably what you saw cute um, okay uh, which major newspaper gave Night Patrol a great review the Press Democrat okay. <laughs> <laughs> alright ready for the the choices here yep. yes uh, the Chicago Sun Times the San Francisco Chronicle the uh, LA Times or the New York Times well, we know it did well in New York, so I almost feel York. like if we if we don't say that, then we're gonna look like idiots. <laughs> idiots. <laughs> exactly. San Francisco would be loyal. Mm, um, I, I'm going back to the NY Times. I feel like we've got to yeah, say NY. I don't think it's San San Francisco. I'm not tipping the hand here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are who, you guys who, ready? Who, who is the critic for the Chronicle? Is that Nicholas L? Who the <laughs> fuck knows? <laughs> it's that little guy who stands on the chair and cries. Yeah, I, I, can't right. see, I can't see him liking Night Patrol. Yeah. Someone is saying San Francisco, but I didn't mention... Oh, I did mention the Chronicle. Chronicle. The Chronicle, okay. yeah. Uh, New, New York, York Times. Times. Go New York. New York Times. New York Times. Finally New answered. York Times, you're right. Yay. Yay. And, no uh, boogers for me today. <laughs> yes. uh, in fact, it was really interesting. It was uh, one of the toughest critics, oh. uh, Vincent Canby. Wow. Nice. Paid money to go to a theater and watched it and said that uh, it made him laugh from beginning to end. Which was a huge compliment because comedy is yeah. very difficult to stay consistently funny all it's the time. It's hard. Really hard. It's a challenge that any director has to try to make it funny from beginning to end. And he said, I, it, it goes, it made me laugh from beginning to end even though I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the old saying that dying is easy, comedy is hard? Uh, yeah, yeah, comedy for me is, comes naturally, but for, for, I would say for most directors, it's one of the toughest uh, genres yeah. to, to do well, to make people laugh. 
Um, so anyway, that was a big compliment. Even nice. though very you're nice, watching. yes. Yes. Um, Would you like to trade? No. <laughs> oh, you already know how many issues I wrote of Spend the Night, so I can't ask yep. that question. Did yeah. write 20. Yes. Yeah. True or false? False. <laughs> false. If you guys don't get this false. one right, you, you fell asleep sometime earlier today <laughs> during the show. Um, Spend the Night is my first horror comic book. True. 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 Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, I was pressured. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, what was the budget for Night Patrol? She, said, she always says she had no budget. Okay, ready? All I'm right. going to give you some choices here. Okay. A million dollars. One million dollars. <laughs> Five hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> because everyone worked deferred. And, or four million dollars. Now, is this what you actually paid or made, like what, what you I told spent. the studio? What you actually spent? Yes. What, I, what did I spend to make that hmm. movie? Oh, this is Okay, tough. before, can I ask a question? Maybe. Sure. You don't <laughs> yeah, have to answer this, okay. Jackie. So I read that the being was four and a half million. Is that Someone correct? Wrote four million. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you about. I'm not going to tell you. You're not going to tell me. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what I had read. So that makes me want to think that Night Patrol was. Well, four. do you believe everything you read? <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's Especially IMDb, the they get to front all the time. Well, yeah, absolutely. The IMDb but... had me as a man <gasps> for about. I would say 10 years. Jesus. And they had me as being four feet tall. <laughs> Three feet of fury. And yeah. yeah, four feet tall, man, and 75 years old. <laughs> and uh, I think it also says, I think it also says you're still it. married. Yeah, yeah, I was married to, I don't know who, but I don't know. But, <laughs> they linked you and to then some I was, random woman. And then I was uh, like living in a, in a commune in Northern California making jewelry. Oh my Beans. God! What if <laughs> so that's was your alternate where, where timeline are the lies? life? Where are the lies? Yeah. Oh, you know, I actually, I, I, I called them. I said, "Can you please fix this?" Yeah. I said because this is when well, I'm not a guy. They didn't believe me, right? Right. And then, then uh, I, I finally, I was so annoyed that they wouldn't change it because IMDb was one of the hardest things to get fixed. In yeah. fact, I hear, I still hear it's difficult. So I, instead, I did a screenshot of the of the information, you know, that I'm a man, and I, and. Uh, <laughs> I actually got a red pen and I did what teachers do. I redlined everything that was wrong. And I stood circling it like, um, this is wrong, I'm not a man, this is wrong, I'm, you know, and I, and I redlined it. And then I wrote in big red letters, Woody, you missed your calling as a fiction writer. <laughs> and, I, and everyone was laughing about it. You know, it was like on my website and people yeah. were laughing and coming and I sent it to IMDb. They changed everything like that. Yeah. Because they realized that they looked like it was complete misinformation. Yeah. And I didn't fake ask. Fake news. <laughs> yeah, fake news. Exactly. Yeah. So I said, uh, and they fixed it. If I asked them to fix it, they wouldn't fix it. But because I made fun of their misinformation, yeah, um, they fixed it. And, so. and your people were all rallying behind you. Yeah. All your they fans. Were like, yeah. yeah. They were going, people wanted to know about me. For a while, I disappeared. And no one knew anything about me, so they were looking online. Where, what happened to Jackie Kong? Where, what is she doing? Mm -hmm. Because normally I would never do a show. I would never show up in, in interviews. I just didn't feel like doing them. You know, I just rather not. I did what I did. I don't do sequels. Okay, I don't do normally a lot of interviews, and I just like to be able to do my own thing. So for a while, it was like what happened. Because the fans were like real big. I mean, we had, I had a big fan base. Oh, yeah, of course. And they loved my like top movie of theirs. So they loved my films. But where's Jackie Kong? Where's, I wouldn't show up to Quentin Tarantino's theater uh, when they ran it like t 10 years ago or something. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't show up to anything. And uh, some of the biggest fans were like, finally, when I did appear to talk about, um, gosh, what was I? Just re Oh, to re resurrect the uh, tour for Blood Diner. And that was after they begged me to... Uh, do the commentary. I wouldn't do the commentary. Hmm. And I said, why would I do the commentary? I'm not making sequels. I turned down Toho. They wanted a sequel. I turned down uh, Lo Fox Lorber that wanted the sequel to Night Patrol. I said, you know, I, I like what I did. I don't want to do a sequel. I want to do something else. Yeah. It's always the, the idea. But sequels are cash cows. Hmm. So, you know, that's what was difficult to get that fixed. But... Yeah. Anyway, I'm not a man. You can't hide anymore yeah. in the internet era. Yes, yes. Um, and I and I like it now because I actually like yeah. meeting the fans. And yeah, seeing, you seem to really enjoy it. Yeah, so, I, yeah. It's nice to see, uh, you know, the reaction to the films and to, that people enjoy it and actually are li liking the experience of it. Yeah. 
um, for a while because you know Di Blood Diner wasn't allowed to show because it was unrated. Oh right, right, right. It was a, there were huge restrictions. I mean, I was doing stuff that nobody was doing, and it was so far ahead of its time. Like the, the opening of Blood Diner, you know, mass shootings are an everyday occurrence. Well, now they are. But when I made the movie, it was not. It was so rare. That's crazy. That um, you know, and then I did the the president shooting, you know, massacre. That was before Catherine Bigelow did it in uh, Point Break. Mm -hmm. You know, it, I did this stuff, and people were just thought, thought I was kind of insane. <laughs> well, I'm really glad that you liked meeting your fans because last night before you came to the theater and I was warming everybody up and getting them hyped. I said, Jackie loves to meet fans. And so I was like nervous. I'm like, oh God. I hope, oh you're, no. Is you're it all hoping that that's true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's true. I, I do like meeting the people that the film affected in a positive way. Absolutely. Yeah. So th that's a, there's a great satisfaction to that. Um, okay. Let's go to the next one. Um, Night Patrol went platinum in the video market. True or false? Ooh. Can I say true? I'm going to say true. Yeah. yeah. It is true. Shipped yeah. Platinum. It shipped 5 million copies. We never answered right the away. question about that. We, we were deflecting. Yeah. We were oh, deflecting. <laughs> did, you, uh, uh, did you forget the one about the budget? No, we didn't forget we, it all. Oh, 4 million. Did we say 4 or 4.5 or something? Shit, we got to answer. Scott's saying 4. Scott's saying 4? But if Jackie puts in there that it was deferred, uh, yeah. why would Right. Seems to me like that would be a. I can't answer this no, question. No, like don't believe everything you read on the internet. Uh, so, because you heard uh, four million, right? I heard four and Do a half. I, have two I heard million? four and a half. Can for I the, get? Two? I heard four <laughs> and a half for the for the being. Uh, How did you hear four? Four and a half. Okay, let me just tell you guys the way it works. <laughs> Back in the day, you make a movie independently, right? It looks great because you shot it on for thirty-five millimeter. It's working, making people laugh. The distributors come to you, you know, movie distributors. You know, they want to know what you spent in order for them to figure out what they're going to offer you. Okay, so that's why you heard four million. We told everybody we spent four million dollars like <laughs> on it. that movie because if you don't say, if you say it's free, or you you know, you spent nothing, they're not going to give you anything. So you have to say you spent four million dollars and maybe they'll give you two million dollars yeah that's that's part of the the business that's the yeah. business side of it so um okay. the reality was zero because i had everybody working deferred on that movie so i needed the advance to pay everybody that was working on it so i was really um lied <laughs> <laughs> i totally lied i lied i love it All right. All <laughs> so right. and that's the way it works I you mean, know it's not an on it's zero. not in the movie business, I gotta say, it's not the most honest business, you know. I mean, no, um, you know, no, no, steal, lie, no. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, so anyway, it, it's not a lie; it's an exaggeration. Yes, it, yes. You know, if I would have paid my crew, it would have been four million dollars right. for sure. Okay. okay. So pick us maybe two more good ones. Last okay. two. Okay, you guys are doing really well. By we the are. Way. Make them doozies though. Okay. Um, true or false. Okay. Oh, True or false? Uh, I come up with ideas, story ideas in my sleep. Yeah, you get. Well, Keanu you just drapes. told us that you did, so yes. <laughs> no, that wasn't a story I did. That was Keanu Reeves telling me to make a comic book. <laughs> the Archangel Keanu yeah, Reeves. That's different yeah. than the story idea. <laughs> I want to say yes because I, I like I that idea. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do. I actually yeah. go to bed wondering. I come up with an idea and I go to bed and I work it out in my sleep. I think that's cool. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. super cool. So uh, you use that subconscious part of your brain that you don't use, because mm -hmm. apparently we only use a very f small f fraction of our brain, and you let that work for you, and you trust that it will come up with a solution. I do the same thing when there's a problem on the set. Someone comes to me, or they, there's a problem. I said, well, I'm going to bed now. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> sleep now. Everyone's like, shh, shh, shh. That's and, part of our process. <laughs> right. like and I am... And I think that's where that expression comes, sleep on it, right? I love that. Okay, my favorite composers. All right. Okay. Last one. Last one. This Ooh. is a good one. I'm not going over favorite directors, but favorite composers. Okay. Okay. Your choices are Ennio Morricone. Okay. Italiano. Okay. Alex North, which is Hitchcock's composer. Jerry Goldsmith. I'm not going to go into where his credits are. Ryuchi... Sakamoto. You guys know who he is? 
and John Williams. I think we should throw John Williams right Pretty out. Pretty sure Jerry Goldsmith uh, did Poultry Guy. Yeah. I'm just saying, as far Caleb? as <laughs> Caleb? Did Poultry I Guy. I think we've got to throw out Williams. I, I think right, that's I too obvious. I would agree with that. Yeah, and, and Jackie's, I don't know, she's got like a lot more They don't seem like a John Williams type. He is brilliant, though. But He's brilliant. Oh, yeah, but, you know. Yeah, we love him. And you yet... got to think Jackie Kong style. What would I like? The, the guy we don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which one? Are the we last talking one? about Morricone or are we talking nope. about Sakamoto? That guy. Sakamoto. Yeah. Although I can definitely see you liking. I can too. Any of Morricone? Yeah. Because who doesn't? Um. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cat version. Um. <laughs> <laughs> People just listen to us do this ASMR cat. <laughs> 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 Okay, I'm going to say Sakamoto. I don't yep, know why. Yep, yep. I don't okay, know why. Okay, Sakamoto is correct. Oh, right. yay! Yay. Okay, so he did the Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. Um, he just recently died, passed oh. away. Yeah, hmm. brilliant composer. Uh, he did um, Last Samurai. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, but one of my favorite scores is Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence. Uh, with uh, Dan- David Bowie was in it. Yeah. Do you remember that film? And it was just, uh, it was an actual uh, Japanese, uh, from the Japanese point of view, World War II, losing their minds over this this war. Uh, it was interesting um, point of view. And he actually was in it. He was yeah. one of the actors in it, as oh, well as the composer. Cool. Yeah. Wow. He played the, the one Japanese uh, officer losing his mind. If you remember, there was one, he looks very, he's, it looks like he's wearing makeup almost. He has this very angled... Uh, faces a uh, face with this dark shadow on his eyes and really intense so anyway if you haven't heard his music i highly recommend you can pull it up on spotify and uh take a listen you don't want to do favorite directors oh let's do it one more last one let's Scott, do it. Can we? okay Yay. <laughs> my they favorite okay. director growing up growing up okay yes, growing up because i have many favorites now so of I'm course say growing up. yeah um roman polanski mm-hmm. Sanjiat Ray, in case you guys know who he is, Howard Hawks, Mike Nichols, or Akira Kurosawa. Ooh. Ooh. This gets a little harder now. Yeah, this is a hard one. Spooky Boo is in the chat. Hey, Spooky Hi, Boo. Hi, Spooky Boo. What's the yeah, answer? Yeah, anybody out there, throw it out there. Throw it out there. Help us out. Help them out. Phone a friend. They're never going to get this one. They're never going to get it. They're never going to get it. <laughs> Do you want me to repeat the, the list again? Yeah. <laughs> Don't sue us. Roman Polanski. <laughs> I can already tell you it's not Roman Polanski. Okay, let's, okay, let's, let's get, start eliminating Roman. people. Okay, I, I, I uh, Sanjiet Ray. Okay. okay. Howard Hawks. Mike Nichols. Or Akira Kurosawa. I mean, who doesn't like Kurosawa? Mm. Mike Nichols? Yeah, I just. I don't feel like it would be an American director. It'd be like something, uh, like different, because Jackie likes different. Yeah, Jackie likes different. Mike <laughs> Nichols is great. Mike Nichols has a story career. Um, doesn't mean she doesn't like any. No, not dislike. I, I like Favorite, all of though. them. Favorite. I like all of them. Let me just put it to you that way. Favorite. But um, this is the favorite growing up. Do I don't think, think it's Howard Hawks. I would say Kurosawa. We're feeling like Kurosawa. Yeah. Start eating one of those crickets. Oh. <gasps> No, we, that's not our pick yet, though. Uh, I, that's oh, 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 okay. Someone prematurely tipped their hand. Uh, uh, oh, but you know what? You did start out with a demerit, so. What? Yeah. <laughs> yes, true. yes, you did it, on at the, the couch. beginning of the, uh, of the show. Cricket in the hot sauce. Uh, Cricket in the hot sauce. The hot sauce. <laughs> I'll dip the bean in the hot sauce. Okay, which hot sauce do you want? I don't know. Which, which is which? I mean, That's I... That's the bomb there. And this is just a regular hot sauce. I'll do the da bomb then. Well... I was going to do the da bomb for my last one. Okay, we got to come up let's with an just answer. Go, let's just say Kurosawa so we stand in unity and... and let's, say, let's do it. Let's Caleb. Ew, God. That's a lot, Caleb. You're going to burn That's your enough, Caleb. Face. You're going you're gonna to hurt yourself. That's enough, Caleb. <laughs> that was such a mom response. <laughs> Look, it's, you, it's like Aaron's blood is burning a hole in the table. <laughs> <laughs> homemade hot sauce. Like you go melting. for the garbage that is the bomb. Um, it's melting. Guys. We're going to say Kurosawa. Okay, Kurosawa, final answer. Even though we know it's not. 
Who is it? It's Sajet Ray. Sajet Ray. Indian director. Very oh. obscure. Um, he uh, he directed the Apu trilogy, won an uh, honorary Academy Award for his in, he's he's East Indian from That's India. Yeah, he made wonderful films. If you have never seen Three. his films, you should see their like poems. The and, the and they left such a huge impression Three. on me growing Two. up. Two. One. So, yes. There we go. Well. Ah, fuck, that's hot. Good job, you guys. The knife. And so ends the game. That was a good game. That was really fun. Scott, can we run things here or no? Yeah, we can. All right. Well, Jackie Kong. Oh, man. Hot sauce and barf. Oh, God. Oh. I don't know how you're doing that. It's like my 16th birthday. Oh. Like um, last birthday. Thank you, Jackie, for coming. Thanks and for being here. Me. Thanks it's so been a much. pleasure having you. Yeah. Oh, yes, and pick up a copy and try to win it from these guys. I don't know what kind of game they're going to be playing. Yeah. But Stay tuned. But the night, uh, you can win yourself an autographed copy from the Cold Show. The yeah, cult show. coming soon. Yes. We'll give you instructions on yep. how to win. We're also going to we're gonna give you your movie uh, later. We'll give it to you later. Your homework. Stay tuned. You, you give homework here? <laughs> oh, we do. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> no, we don't have to do ours. They do it for us. Yep. Oh, okay. So. Well, signing off. Thanks for having me. Thank Yay. you. Thanks, Jackie. Thank you very much, Producer Scott, the Reverend Michael B., Danny, Thomas, Pod People of the Future, Miss Movie Buff Laura, Mindy Horror Movie Addict, Mark Visions Truth, Tommy Levette, Dory Bits, uh, Jake Jolly, Styrene Builds, Pismo Mark, Spooky Boo, Anyone else lurking lurkies, out there? The late comers, we love you. And make sure you visit our store, thecultshow.com slash store. Yay. All right. Everybody say bye to Jackie one more time. Bye, Jackie. Bye, one more bye, time. Bye, one more time. Thanks for having me.